my schoolers, this is my school channel and I am Abiola. We are tackling the Jam CBT past question for the subject biology, the year 2017. So right now in this clip, we're tackling question 36 to 49. So don't go anywhere, join me as we tackle question 36. The possession of scales, laying of eggs with shells, okay, laying of eggs with shells, and bony structure of the head are characteristics shared by what? Okay, so now we have to do a kind of screening process to select the most viable option. The possession of scales, okay, what um, set of animals or what kind of animals have scales, okay? Um, it's possible for the bears, of course, the birds have scale, the reptiles, they have scales, okay? Um, the fishes too, they have scales. So it is possible that the birds, the reptiles and the fishes I'm correct okay so for that we have um, another characteristic laying of eggs okay so again um, the birds the reptiles and the fishes they lay eggs okay but there is a clause here laying of eggs with shells with shells so not just laying of eggs so this scrutinizes of um, the option for fishes okay the eggs laid by fishes are not with shell okay though the kind of um, shells found on reptiles egg okay they are leathery in form well, okay compared to that of birds okay so this has screened out our fishes okay and bony structure of the head are characteristics, characteristics rather shared by what okay so these are characteristics shared by okay birds and reptiles so option a is super correct Question 37. The lungs of the lungfish is an adaptation for respiration, okay, to complement the gills while they are on land, okay, uh, when doing um, estivation, the hot, dry season, okay. So, um, just like every other fishes, the lungfish also possess gills, okay, which they use in breathing when the water level the content of oxygen in the water is okay so in cases where there is a drop in oxygen level okay in the water or they are on dry land okay or the water in the environment is so dried okay they use the lungs okay or their lungs okay to breathe so we can basically say that the lungs of the lung fish is an adaptation for respiration okay to complement the gills while they are on land so option b is very correct though at times you still find them it depends on the species we have the australian species we have the african species okay sometimes even while they are in water they still come outside okay pop pop out their snout and try and breathe in air ordinarily okay depending on the species but the most viable option to this question is option b 38. Which of the following is an example of active transport? So when you say active transport, it's moving against the concentration gradient, okay? And energy is required. And such energy, you get it from the oxidation of glucose or the breakdown or in, uh, that occurs during respiration. You get your energy from there. So looking at all of these options, um, this one involves um, diffusion and what have you. Okay, what are moving out of the small intestine? All of these option A, B, and C. Okay, they are not examples of active transport. Sodium being reabsorbed in the kidney. That is a very good example of active transport because of the charge that sodium ion carries. Okay, it is not um, it is not feasible using ordinary or simple diffusion for it to move across these uh, cell membranes. Okay, so the most viable and correct option here is option D. Sodium being reabsorbed in the kidney. Question 39. The key event in the transition of the amphibians from water to land is what? Okay, whilst they are in water, they breathe using the gills. Okay, moving up to the land, they have to use their lungs, okay, to take up oxygen from the air. All right, so that um, implies that replacement of the gills with the lungs. So that's the correct option. Option A is very correct. Don't forget that you can download any of the My School tools on your smartphones or on your computers. Just click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website where you can get the My School mobile app or the My School software. So join me as we tackle question number 40. 
Erythrocytes are also known as what? They are also known as red blood cells. Okay, that's another name for red blood cells. White blood cells are also known as leukocytes. Okay, they are responsible for body defense. Okay, and phagocytes too, like from um, the term phagocytosis. Okay, that is engulfing uh, particles, foreign particles now in the body system. So. The correct option here is option B. Red blood cells are also known as erythrocytes. Erythrocytes are also known as red blood cells. Dear my schoolers, don't forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video clip for you. Question 41. Gregor Mendel is regarded as the father of what? Is regarded as the father of genetics using the pea plant okay um talking about variation you talk about morphological variation physiological variation um coming to this strikes my attention the most okay natural selection that is by charles darwin okay so um then we have a uh, mycology just going back to the question we are given and the most viable option that is option b for genetics gregor mendel is regarded as the father of genetics option b is super Correct. 42. The most efficient respiratory structure used by free living protozoan is what? Okay, um, at first you should recall that uh, protozoans, they belong to, they have the, um, the kingdom of protista. Okay, then we have the phylum protozoa. Okay, they are the animal like um, protistas. Okay, protista or protists. Okay, so example, you have your you have your uglina that has a plant and animal like um, features then we have your paramecium okay so let's go back to the question we are told that the most efficient respiratory structure used by this kind of um, organism is what is actually their body surface okay they exist as unicellular single cells so they don't have a um, well-developed organ to say okay so gills you find gills in uh, fishes and amphibians okay especially when these amphibians are still in water like from the developmental stage from egg and what have you buccal cavity or the oral cavity that leads to the alimentary canal for digestion spiracle is found on insects so the correct option here is option a body surface is the most efficient respiratory structure used by free living protozoa option a is very correct all right question 43 carbon four oxide is added to the atmosphere when what happens or is released to the atmosphere when what happens a when plants build up organic compounds okay this is uh, a very good uh, description for photosynthesis okay so um, the presence of sunlight okay they tap so uh, they tap this sunlight as a source of energy using chlorophyll all right then to manufacture their food so yeah, oxygen is released, not carbon dioxide. B, when plants absorb mineral salts from the soil. That is an example of active transport. We have option C, when sugars are completely broken down in animals to release oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. That is for cellular respiration, okay? Uh, aerobic respiration to be precise. So we have uh, option D when there is thunderstorm. When there is thunderstorm, we have what we call nitrogen fixation for plants. So the best um, option to the question given to us is when sugars are blo broken down so that energy can be released, okay, in animals, even in plants too, as well, under the aerobic kind of respiration, okay. You you will have um excess water being given out you will have carbon dioxide and energy so option c is very correct question 44 okay the host of liver fluke are what okay um, we should know this that um their hosts include grazing or cattle grazing animals or cattle so um looking at all of these options there are possibilities okay all of these options okay but the most uh, viable one here is uh, the it, it's option C that includes sheep and snail. Okay, they they grow very well. Okay, especially in uh, posts like sheep, they grow up in their liver, and when they are passed out through physics after some times, okay, they will have to look for the next intermediate host of snail as snail. Okay, you have to find snail for them to be able to 
um, do well when it comes to development. So, uh, it's even in unusual and unfavorable con condition, it's possible that um, they may pick uh, pigs as their hosts. Okay, even humans too are not left out. But in the context of the question given to us and the options provided, we have to go for the most viable one, the most applicable one, and that is option C. The hosts include sheep and snail. You know, it's very possible you see in any of these videos and certain questions come up your mind and you like to ask them and get answers with your moments. All you just have to do while you are seeing this clip is to click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website where you can ask your questions right now and get those answers that you've been looking for. So join me as we tackle the next question. Use the diagram to answer the question that follows, okay? The part labeled 1 is what, okay? So at first, we have to identify these parts um, together, okay? This is the receptacle, this is the ovary, okay? This is the hunter, we have the filament, okay? And this makes the stigma, then the style very well. So we have the petals as well. So. I haven't labeled that. Let's just uh, switch on to our answer. So the part labeled one is the stigma for option D. So option D is very correct. At any point that you've gone through our video clips and you would like to share one or two explanations or you'd like to share ideas or suggestions, please, we would like to know. All you just have to do is to use the comment section below, indicate the question number and the solutions you would like to share. Question 46. Which of the following factors can reduce the population of a community? Reduce the population. Reduction. So when you talk about immigration that is coming in, this increases population. Edaphic factors, you are referring to the condition of the soil, okay, both the physical and other things that entails around the soil. Of course, this can uh, affect the variety. For instance, talking about an alkaline kind of um, soil condition, it can affect the kind of plant that grows or thrives in that um, community or in that um, geographical location. When you talk about predation, predation is when one animal is hunting the another for food. And this can cause a decline or a decrease or reduction in the population size of a community very well. Then we have mutualism, when two different um, species of organisms, they are benefiting from each other and even this enhances um, survival. So, looking through all of these uh, options that we have, the most viable one that can uh, make a reduction in the population of a community is predation. Option C is super correct. Question 47. In Moses, the structure which performs the function of water absorption is the rhizoids, okay? They don't have true roots like other plants, though they belong to the kingdom plantae, okay? Um, the phylum bryophyta. Other examples of bryophyta include liverworts, okay? So, going back to the question posed to us, um, we have um, in Moses, the structure which performs the function of water absorption as well as absorption of nutrients, okay, and anchorage is the rhizoids for option B. So option B is absolutely correct. 48. How does enzyme affect the rate of a reaction? Okay, so we recall that enzymes also they are organic catalysts in the context of biology, and we know that all enzymes are proteins, but not all proteins are enzymes. Okay, so um, the way an enzyme affects the rate of a reaction is by lowering the activation energy. You know, the activation energy is that minimum energy that the reacting particles must possess, okay, for them to be able to um, become products or for products to be gotten. Okay, I'm just trying to use um, a very simple definition for her. So, what they do is that they lower the activation energy and so that the rate of reaction can be increased. So, they all just to bring it together. The lower activation energy and increase the rate of reaction. There are certain reactions that without catalyst, it will take lots of time for them to actually come to product formation. So let's go back to our question. How does an enzyme affect the rate of a reaction? First, it lowers, or in no particular order, it lowers the activation energy of the reaction and it also increases the reaction rate. So option A is very correct. Question 49. 
insects that goes through adult stage without becoming pupa are except what okay so such insects you refer to them as um, going through incomplete metamorphosis example include um, your grasshopper your grasshopper your cockroach your crickets your dragonflies and what have you for the insect that goes through or that undergo complete metamorphosis they include bees houseflies butterfly beetles ants warps and the list is endless okay so um, the pupa stage is usually referred to as the resting stage though a lot of developmental um, processes take place in the pupa stage okay so um, coming back to the question insect that goes through adult stage without becoming pupa are except what are what except the bees the bees undergo complete metamorphosis so option d is super correct we believe you enjoy every one of these video clips and you would like us to bring you more of such all you just have to do for us is to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we release the next video for the next subject and for the coming year